I'm Stuart, this is Evan, and we're getting ready to introduce you to our rig and what we pull with. This is our Ram 1500 Classic. Uh, we put the uh, 1000 HD's airbags underneath of it to help with the uh, towing. He's going to help me do the introduction. Too. This is our rig. It's a Forest River Palomino Solaire. Uh, 32 foot from tongue to tail. Inside quarters, I think it's 28 foot. Awesome rig so far. It's our first rig. Haven't had any issues. that we can foresee doing to this rig before we move out on our big trip this spring is keep tires. Uh, Forest River to keep the selling prices down and a lot of times the, uh, the dealers will give you the cheapest tires they can put on it. Uh, which ours was no exception because the uh, Castle Rocks. Hashtag kind of bombs. We've had it out on a couple of short excursions, which are fine, but if you want to travel any distance at all, you probably want to change those tires out. Uh, we've got a long trip in the spring, and we're going to do just that before we go. So start the hitch. We've got the power jack, and we have the bicycle rack that came with it, which is a pretty neat feature. Uh, we do bike, so these extend out, and your bicycles mount right up here up above so nothing's in the way you're afraid to get your bikes or anything like that. Uh, got a dual propane tanks. Come with a single battery. We're going to double up on that before we go probably if we start boom docking. Got the diamond plate. Keep uh, Protect your front cap from the rocks. And on this side we have the Front cargo hold has your battery shut off right here. Uh, your battery disconnect. This is your uh, your water heater. Your fresh water and city water connect. Of course, the slide. Nice. Haven't had any troubles with the slide. We have the slide windows that you can open. All the windows in the whole camper you can open up. We love that. You can open them up and get a cross breeze. We love the fresh air. And here's your uh, 30 amp short power. And your cable is set tight. Got an LED light here so you can lighten this up in case it's dark. Black tank flush. I've used that a few times already. Your outdoor shower. Previous video, you saw me winterize it. Huge storage back here. Black water in the slam latch compartment. Keep our black hose in here. In the bumper. Nice spare tire. Has the. Uh, For your grill, it comes with the grill. Gas connection right out here underneath the corner. I'll come shoot that right underneath the corner here. Here. This is our outdoor kitchen. It wasn't a have to, but it was. A real big selling point for me. This is a fold up table we use to take with us. It's a great fridge. Just stop. Has a door. This this unit came with the the pot that goes with the conduction uh, plate here. Which we haven't used that yet. We have yet to see how that works. That'll be a future episode. Has a light up here. Uh, all the outdoor lights are uh, 
the motion lights. You can set them to come on whenever they can. Hey, Daddy! Yes! It's even on it. You want to get on it? Yeah. Huh? You're gonna sit down right there? Yeah. Right. You wanna show them the sink? Sink. The sink? Mm-hmm. Has a plumb sink. A lot of your outdoor sinks just run straight down to the ground. This hey, one goes into your hey, goes into hey, your gray. Daddy. Yes. Here, you wanna help? Yeah. 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 Show them the sink. Say this is our outdoor sink. Sink. Mm-hmm. And it's plumbed into your gray tank. Okay, <laughs> got extra storage up here. We've got some blankets and some fire starters up there. And then this is the grill. Okay, with the propane hey, grill. Daddy. This is what goes back on your bumper. Yes, sir. No. <laughs> You're giving me on my toes, aren't you? You're ready to go back inside, aren't you? Yeah. This little guy's ready to go camping. All right, and then here we have the latest Fisher Price lawnmower you can buy. And we have the solid step, which we really loved. We we that was one of the things that we wanted to have on our camper was the fold up, the flip up steps. And they're very sturdy. You can adjust the adjust the feet. Hang on, bud. Woo! But yeah, those just have a pin, you can slide and adjust those. <laughs> This is a great compartment. This is our, uh, it's like a five or six foot tall uh, landing mat. Whoa, what's that bus? It goes way up there. This this compartment goes all the way up Whoa. to the roof. Whoa. It is pretty incredible. And it also has an electrical hey, outlet in it. Hey, yes, sir. What? Yeah, you showing them the wrenches? Yeah. Okay, come on. All right. And this is your uh, furnace vent. The outdoor speakers. Bye -bye. Entertainment Bye. center, basically. You have a mount for your TV. Uh, this is your outlet for your TV hookup. And then, of course, it has 110 outlets there, too. Bye. These are lighted speakers, which is pretty cool. Your vent for your for your hood range is right there. Oh yeah. And coming on up to the front. Do what is this? What is the other side of the front compartment. Right underneath is your power jacks for your stabilizers. It has power stabilizers on this trailer, which we really like. And this is your. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's pre-wired for solar, so whenever we decide to go solar, it's already ready to go, wired and ready to go. And has the power awning. We'll go on in here and I'll open it up for you. Come here, buddy. I'm coming. You coming? Yeah. Controls for your awning are right here on your control panel, right inside the door. We're going to extend. Just like that. It has the tilt awning system where you can adjust the tilt on it and uh, it'll let the rain run off. It also has the automatic, if it, a bunch of rain gets on there, it'll automatically tip and dump it for you. All right, I'm gonna bring that in to Wait. let the camper warm up a little bit. It's cool out. While I'm bringing that in, it is pre-wired for uh, Wi-Fi internet. Um, some of some models already came with that. This particular trailer didn't. Um, which is all right. We 
we can upgrade that later. All right. And if you want to step on in, can you open that one? Open that. Mm -hmm. All right. We oh, have our. Of course! Yeah. Uh huh. You can remove these two shelves and have just a hanging space for your jackets if you want. Okay, close the door. And this light right here is the light underneath of the fireplace. That's the only one he can get to. <laughs> and then, of course, we have the TV. We have compartments up top, over top of the TV. This is where your hookups are for your TV antennas and things like that. Here's your Furion AM, FM, DVD, CD player. And we love the fireplace. It is also a heater. Evan, come on. And then it has a 10 cubic foot uh, all electric refrigerator freezer. huge we like the all electric we didn't want the gas uh, electric and it has the safety latch too as well um, we didn't want the gas electric because we've seen so many people have trouble with them if not sooner than later so uh, that's just one less thing we have to try to upkeep and then of course he's got the suburban Stove and oven, which we have used. Wait, turn it? Yeah, I know. You like the oven? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, and then it has the microwave oven. Here's the, the hood range, has fan and light. More space. Lots of space. It's a battery it has the sink the rollover covers but when we travel we fill our sink full of our stuff so it doesn't go rolling around in the cabinets. Uh, of course we have hey, Daddy. stuff under here as well. Hey, Daddy. Yes sir. Huh? He's flexing for everybody. The open. Open? You open the door? Yeah. You want to show them this? Open. Can you flip that up? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Got a little shelf extension there. Yeah. The counter extension. Yeah. You like that? We usually put our uh, trash can underneath of here. And then, of course, we have our dinette, chairs. And then over here, this is the cool feature. This is where Little Bridges sleeps. Uh, this is the couch hideaway. Pull it out. Pull that right. out? Yep. That's got to be the easiest bed we've ever had in it. <laughs> you want to show them how to fold it up? You get a good cat nap in? Power nap. Come on. Alright. Come here and grab the handle. Mm -hmm. Yep, even he can do it. Ready? Pull up. Pull up. Let it lock. And then you let it down. And it lifts the center. And then you just push in. Push. Yay! Good job. <laughs> Wanna show them the bathroom? The huge bathroom right here? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then this was a big selling point for us. Um, everybody has to get ready and go to the restroom and get their hair done. And of course we have teenage boys. They like their mm. privacy in the bathroom. And it is just huge. Has the seat in the back of the tub so whenever we have little britches in here giving him a bath or a shower we can uh, just sit right there with him or have him sit up there and hang on to him it's pretty easy mm -hmm. and then we have more storage up here that is a huge storage compartment where are we going yeah <laughs> and of course it has the porcelain 
Foot flush toilet. Spin one around. It has a really good sink in it. The countertops are like a plastic resin countertop, but they have that marble look to them, which we really like that. And then of course we've got plenty of drawers and they got yeah. stuff in them, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. And then we have more storage down here. Mm-hmm. Come on, you want to show them the, the big bedroom? Oh. Wait. Okay. Okay, this is our master bedroom. Has the pocket door or sliding door. Come on in. Has the emergency exit windows. And this is a king size bed. Which I think we're going to downgrade to the queen size because it does take up a little bit of space right here at the foot of the bed. The sides are still pretty open, but of course you have some uh, closet space. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. And then you have a TV backer mount right here on this wall, which I like on, <laughs> which I liked on this model. Yeah, you want me up here where you can see everything. I like the TV backer being up here on this particular travel trailer because it mounts in front of the bed and not to the side of the bed and then of course you have your 110 outlet and your uh, antenna hook up here up front of the bed you have uh, 110 outlets on both sides and then on uh, that side of the bed it, it has the USB ports for your phones and we like the window in the front because it has that little built-in shelf you can put your devices right up there in the window and on charge Mm -hmm. Oh, and it does have the reading lights up above the bed, too. Both sides. You want to turn that one on? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Stand up there and turn it on. Whoop, whoop. You can do it. <laughs> Twitch it. Good job. Turn it off. Good job. All right. <laughs> and then up above, we have the vents for your AC, your ducted AC, which is out, out in the main quarters there, I'll show you. And then we have the vent. It doesn't have a fan. Um, I think some of the models, you can go ahead and put a, a second uh, AC unit in right here, which we didn't really want to do that anyway. So We like our fresh air. You ready to go, bud? Come on. Let's go show them around some more. Uh, if you notice, uh, down at the bottom of the cabinets and at floor level are your vents for your uh, heat. Uh, the heat is ducted through the bottom of the cabinetry instead of the floor so you don't get dog hair and cat hair and dust and debris down inside your uh, vents. Um, our AC unit is in the center of the living quarters. Uh, it has the open vent dump which you can turn it on and just cool it off real fast and then you close this and then it goes throughout the cabin uh, both directions it's it goes into your restroom back here in the back as well so there's a vent up top and then your heat now at the bottom right in front of the toilet which is perfect for your heat keeps your feet warm I don't think we've really done a whole lot to it yet. We did put some command stripped hangers or some hooks right here at the doorway to hang our hats and our jackets and things on. Um, and we do like the skylight up above the sink. It adds uh, a little bit of light and ambiance. And then if it's too much, you can close it down. Like if little man's taking a nap or something, you want it dim in here, we close that in a minute. But we like that as well. <laughs> and here is our thermostat. Come here, buddy. You can show them the thermostat. And it's just an easy, simple push button. It lights up when you push it. Right now it's in off. And then it goes in the fan, low and high mode. And then cool, low, auto, high, auto. And then there's the heat. And then back off. And then these are your uh, temperature adjustments. Oh, since we are on the 30 amp, 
Um, we have a microwave fireplace switch. Um, you can pick which one you want to use because of the lower voltage or lower wattage. Um, if you want to use the microwave, you simply turn your fireplace off and switch this over to your microwave, pop your popcorn, flip it back over to your fireplace, go turn it on, sit down and enjoy a movie. Okay. Play each popcorn. Right. It does have indoor speakers right up above everything. There's another one over here. Over here? Oh, it is over here. I thought there's another one over here. Yes, there's four of them. There's one here and here, and then there's two in the other side of the cabin. And when you're listening to it, it sounds pretty cool because it's almost like having surround sound. And then when you're listening to your fear in, you can actually export your music out front and have it just out front or just inside, or you can have it on both. Yeah. It's pretty neat too. We can uh, let a little man watch a TV show or something in here and have the sound on outside. And that way we can hear when his show's getting ready to end or whatever, and we can come in and change it for him. Just wanted to take a quick look underneath and show you the uh, torsion axles, no leaf springs, right here. And these are your uh, wires for your electric brakes. It has electric brakes on this particular trailer. This this hole on the side of your underpinning on the entry side of your travel trailer in the emergency uh, crank you put a crank right in this hole right in there is a the turnbuckle that will run your slide in and out on the opposite side if you have any kind of trouble with the electric and you're stranded and don't have any electric you can raise your stabilizers with the crank and you can draw in your slide your slide out will come in manually as well, which is always a plus. Come on. on the front, your electric jack also has a plug, which you pop this cap off right here, and it gives you straight access to that plug. You run your uh, jack down in there, and if you don't have electric, you can still lower your trailer onto your truck. They've thought of everything. Love it, love it. We'll see ya.